Jaina Murray was laid to rest yesterday after being killed in the Lululemon store where she worked. Tomorrow, one of her co-workers is scheduled to appear in court to face murder charges. John Hendren has more from Bethesda. Good morning, John. Good morning, Bianna. Police say this was a workplace dispute gone lethal. One possible motive, Brittany Norwood may have been accused of stealing from this store. It's an accusation some who knew her say has come up before. Police now say it was a pair of shoes that first tipped them off. The crime scene had two pairs of bloody footprints, but police believe one of them was faked by Brittany Norwood using a store pair to appear like a perpetrator's footprint. And when police found Norwood bound and gagged, they now say the position she was tied up in was suspicious, that with her hands tied above her head, she may have tied herself up. As we began uh, analyzing the forensic evidence the, uh, and uh, looked at the uh, medical reports, uh, it was not supporting what the um, uh, what uh, Ms. Norwood had told us. All of this contradicts the story Norwood tried to tell police. According to her, after closing up this store for the night, she and Jaina Murray went back to pick up Norwood's wallet. Two masked men followed them in, bound them, sexually assaulted them, and when Murray resisted, beat and stabbed her to death. But medical examiners found no evidence of sexual assault on either victim. According to police, Murray's car had been moved and had been spattered with Norwood's blood. And on the night of the killing, workers at this Apple store next door say they heard two women arguing. As you go through a list of 14 or 16 or 18 things the uh, victim told you, you can draw a line almost through every one of them. There was one other thing. Norwood's wounds were superficial, Murray's were deep. It was a scene painted in blood, one expert say suggests intense rage. That's a personal homicide. That's a close stabbing, blunt force trauma. She was angry, majorly angry. In college, Megan Healy says some of Norwood's soccer teammates were wary. Girls on the team that had known her longer than me had told me things like, watch your locker, keep it locked. Um, she's been known to steal things. She says she never imagined Norwood was capable of a grisly and police say calculated murder. Norwood appears in court on Monday on a first-degree murder charge. Law enforcement officials say police will be combing through the record to see if anything like this has ever happened to anyone around her before.